Hello everyone, Pahamar here with episode 2 of my Pahi Plays Forgecraft 1 series. Uh, today's episode, I think we should probably get set up a little bit more. Um, I've done a bunch of mining since the last episode to get myself some nice resources and whatnot. And while we have a ton of stuff in the workshop, um, I kind of like to have my own machinery and whatnot too. Um, I don't know, it just kind of makes me feel like i got a pretty cool base and stuff. So today, uh, at the advice of my viewers and my patrons, I'm going to start with Thermal Expansion. Um, Thermal Expansion 3 is a mod I can honestly say I have not touched. I've got some basic instructions on how to get started and everything. Uh, but one of the things I want to do first is show you some inspiration that a lovely guest to my house has given me. R.W. Tema has brought by and given me a banana for uh, inspiration. And you know what? I'm going to take that banana, wherever it went. Did I get my banana? I got my banana. And I'll take the sign, too. Thanks, Tema. And we're going to bring that inside because I don't know about you guys. Um, as a coder, I've always got like a scratch pad with things I need to do on it. And I feel like we need to have banana for inspiration and scale and uh, we are going to want to have some kind of a clipboard or something to keep our uh, keep our goals on for the current episode so uh, thankfully we have bibliocraft installed and Biblio bibliocraft uh, has a lovely thing called the clipboard that clipboard allows you to write down objectives and whatnot so uh, I also want to have a desk and Bibliocraft also offers that. So desks were... There's a different desk for every type of wood. Um, we're just going to use whatever we can find. Whatever I've got. So how about uh, acacia wood? So I need from the recipe... This is secure, uh, secure wood, but I'm saying that wrong. I am so sorry. Um, we need a torch, we need a feather, we need three slabs and two planks. So I've got feathers here. I'm going to grab these because I'll need them in a bit. Make ourselves some slabs. We will do this and that. We'll get to Thawncraft later. Uh, oh, yeah, I need a torch. That was one of the things I wanted to do. I'm going to need a few, actually, so we'll just go ahead and do that. So we're going to do torch, feather, slabs, plank, plank, desk. Um, that would be pipe up in the background you may have just heard. He says hello. So now we need to do the clipboard and use the NEI's handy dandy um, recipe ghosting. You can actually see what the recipe is. So I know I need a pressure plate. I need paper. I need a feather and I need ink. So there we go. Now we have a desk and desk, clipboard, and I feel like we need a banana for scale and inspiration. Uh, for those who haven't watched episode uh, one of the series, uh, Toby uh, from Minecraft Videos, I'm going to get it right, Toby, uh, gave me the challenge, and the viewers seem to uh, like it, of building a giant banana. I normally don't build things like that. Normally I build houses like a Tudor or a Tudor themed house, I should say, or castles or towers and stuff. I've never built a house that looks like fruit, so I actually feel like it'll be a decent challenge. So we're going to go with it. So, uh, once again, we've got our little shrine to the banana here, and uh, we have a bunch of ores over there we need to process, and uh, let's get started. So, for episode two goals, actually, you know what, let's just say goals, because this may branch into multiple episodes. Okay, so first, because we are getting started on thermal expansion, uh, here we need a crescent hammer. I hear that we, one of the first things I will need to do is make a steam dynamo with some 
Leadstone conduits. Leadstone energy um, cube. I'm sorry, I don't know the words for this. I know roughly what they do. Um, and then we're going to want to get a powered furnace. As well as a pulverizer. And then there's a ton of other stuff after this. Uh, Thermal Expansion's got a ton of tools, but let's get started with this. So, uh, let's see, Crescent Hammer. Crescent Hammer. So for that, we need three iron and tin. Well, I have plenty of that. I've been uh, fairly successful with mining lately. This is all stuff I've managed to mostly or duplicate. Um, using the workshop, so uh, loads of coal, redstone, I had a really nice pick. Uh, so let's see, I need one tin, three iron, and I'll just dump that everywhere. Crescent hammer, sweet. All right, because we finished it, let's come back here, check. Yay, we got a goal done. All right, steam dynamo. Let's have a look at that. NEI is super helpful for me right now because, like I said, I've never done these things before. All right, so ooh, there's a lot more to this. We're going to need copper gears and a transmission coil. A transmission coil is two redstone, one silver. Let's do that one first. Uh, so let's see, redstone and silver. So let's do this. I feel like I'm getting a little laggy. Let's check the FPS. Oh, that's not too bad. All right, so we have ourselves a redstone transmission coil. Now we're going to need some copper gears. How many did it want? Two. Okay. Let's get a whole bunch of copper. Copper, copper. Okay. These need to go to cul... Ooh, did not mean to turn that around. So the crescent hammer rotates things. I'd forgotten about that. All right. So, two copper gears go like this. Stone, copper, da da. Get more ingots. Because my short term memory is actually working right now. Steam dynamo, yes! Come back here. All right, now we get into leadstone stuff, a powered furnace, and a pulverizer. Hmm, I feel like this isn't big enough right now, so why don't I take a few minutes and, oh, hey, Toby. Toby was here. Um, why don't I take a few minutes and uh, I'll make us a little bit more room for using thermal expansion, and I'll be right back. So guys, I got thinking while I was tearing some stuff down to make this a bit bigger. Uh, I wanted, Why don't I show you guys something I just added to EE3 today. So, so far you've seen the, uh, the small chest, um, which is 4 by 12 slots. Uh, and I think I've shown you guys the big one. I mean, you would have seen me going in here to get some stuff. And uh, one of the things I had added in the latest build of EE3 is the ability to take existing ch uh, chests that have been made and upgrade them into alchemical chests. So we're just going to cook up some diamonds here. Uh, and the reason I feel confident in doing this is because I know I can upgrade from iron and gold to diamonds and back down using my minium stone. So while that's cooking up, why don't we get this guy ready? So we'll put fuel in the bottom. We'll put the chest we want to upgrade there. Now these are kind of expensive chests. Uh, they are, like I said in the last episode, I think I said in the last episode, they're worth uh, a little bit more than uh, eight diamonds. And uh, Toby is currently learning how to use thermal expansion as well. Um, hobbyist steam engine. I think you want to power it with RF from the steam dynamo. 
Guys, this is really just showing how new I am to a lot of these mods. I'm severely out of date with a lot of these things, and Toby is learning with me at the exact same time. Um, why don't I get him into TS? Why don't you join us in TeamSpeak? All right, we have our eight minium dust. So we got a pre-made vanilla chest, we got some coal, we got some dust, and da 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 we are now cooking a chest into a large alchemical chest. And there we go. Okay, so I'll, uh, I'll see about getting Toby in here, and I'll keep tearing this stuff down, and we'll be back. Excellent. Slowpoke, are you going to log in and check out the... I'm about to start recording, so I do want to show like the final product of the movie theater, and if you were on, that would be a good way to do it, is to have you on and, and show it to you on camera. Uh, hold on. I'm going to have to see if I can actually get an updated... Right? Is it actually... Yeah, because po like you guys don't know this, but Slowpoke really has trouble getting you know working mod together and getting things <laughs> Slowpoke, would you like to say hello to my YouTube audience? <laughs> really? Yes, really. I said I was yeah, going to start recording again. Oh my god. So I'll just do a, a <laughs> shout out. Right now we got Slowpoke, we have Toby, we have Aurelian, who's, uh, I guess, being the conductor of the Freedom Train. We have Direwolf, and we have RW <laughs> Tema. And we have Prog Coding. Thanks. And yes, Prog uh, is coding. Uh, Failing to do so. I, I assume we've had updated mods in the last like week. Yeah. Yes. yes. As a matter of fact, it's there was an update to, know... to Equivalent Exchange three just a few hours ago. No. Yep. It's important um, to know that the freedom update the train server? actually sings Yankee Doodle Dandy, but I toot tooted just to be short and to the point. It did update on the server tire. If we um, I didn't have a problem logging in with my existing instance though. Okay. Well, um, yay features. Yeah, so bug report. Because <laughs> it should, right? Like, it should yell at me and be like, hey, that's not the right version of EE. Uh, I don't think I have it down to the build number, so it probably would have uh, It would have been fine. It's build uh, uh, 131, which will be public. Gotcha. Gotcha. This video goes if it was an experienced coder who had made multiple releases, then they probably would do that, but, I mean, he's still fairly new, so... It would be really, really counterintuitive to people using their own nightly builds for it to complain on a build number as opposed to an actual version number. Yeah, but now that we're on Forgecraft, you know, we got to yes, put on a big boy pants. Is the golden standard of stability. <laughs> it's where it's where we're going to identify stability issues, and I just reported one, so I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. You know, if you'd like a pub more public audience, I'm sure Slowpoke and I have plenty of great mod packs we can put EE into. Go on Tix4 if you'd like. What's, up, what's in the update tonight, Paul? Oh, anything interesting? Uh, you, nothing that's going to make you happy. Nothing makes you happy. Bags? No, I mean, it's like, yeah. yeah. No, it was just Lies. a small update that allows you to uh, take any chest and put it in the Illoodle to upgrade it to a different alchemical chest. Okay. Just a small one so that you don't have to craft a new chest every time. I'm just looking for the... So why, why is it you're waiting for in 1.7 now? What do you need 1.7 for all of a sudden? Uh, in one seven, I will have the ability to, per server, without having to close Minecraft and reload it again, sync up uh, EMC, EMC values. So you could be on one server, uh, you can use that server's values, so you can swap to another one, you can go, your, go to your single player world and everything, and it'll always update for the values for that particular world. Oh, so like, like the config IDs can switch. Exactly. EMC values can too. Yeah, and it will allow admins to actually, during runtime, so while the server's up and running, change the values of things, and all the players will get the update. So you don't have to shut down the server and shut down your client, and you don't have to reconfigure everything. It'll just work. America. Actually, Canada. <laughs> oh, Canada. Our home and native land. The Queen of England, too. Is that how it goes? Not at all. <laughs> what was that? That was uh, America. It wasn't even close to our national anthem. 
The Queen isn't doesn't Canada owned by England or like the Queen's on Canadian Navy or something? Are you familiar with the idea of a constitutional monarchy? Uh yes. Okay, well then I don't need to explain it. Canada is oh, owned by England in only the very loosest of Yeah, it's basically just like having a very fancy hat. It's not like okay. we can sell Canada. No, let's be well, honest. The Hudson Bay well, Company owns more like, of not like anyone Canada. Buy Canada. Hey, there is like Tim Hortons here. I, I'm so annoyed that I never got to uh, see Tim Hortons or eat me Tim Hortons when I was over there. Well, then you're just gonna have to come That's back. Fine. Also, there's oh, some Hortons oh, oh. in the northern states. Slowpoke. By the way, I was telling Ari all about the, the restaurant that we're gonna go to for breakfast every day. Ah, okay, so now I want cool. to get this going. Yeah. And is she excited products. to come? She is. What is this, a PAX? Yeah. 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 You know, I, I would gladly pay for my way to get up there if somebody had a spare ticket. The problem is not getting up there. The problem is getting a ticket. We have yeah, literally... I, know. I mean, I, I've had to bum around for tickets just for the people who are going now. Oh, okay. We've uh, got by a... the way, Slow, yeah. um, Sevidus was looking for you with that talk I... in mind. I spoke to him. Yeah, thankfully. What we may be able to get you, Prog, is a ticket for Friday and Sunday, but it would leave you without a ticket for Saturday. Isn't that when the tournament is? Yes. Yeah. Would you be able to get a ticket for no. that day? To no. Hey, Dyer, that hey. Track? No. Okay. We can talk later. Well, it's Jaden who has those two tickets. So... Uh, I'm aware. Well, we can have this discussion a bit later. I can't get off stream. Well, there's no secret about it. <laughs> I, I'm just... No, I'm in the middle of 20 things also at the moment. Um, um, including a favorite for Jader. Try not to talk over there much. Why is this not working? I'm kind of sort of redoing half of the download code so that she could do something with her back. So whereabouts is this uh, cinema then? Where are you, Toby? I'm at your house. Your uh, if you click on the book, pink. okay, your eyeballs are loving it. Yeah. Number one. Uh, if you click on the book in the house, and it brings you the digger. Yeah. And here you go. Hi, I'm this bat right here. Oh, hi there. Hi. Came back. Mm -hmm. There you go. Hi. And we got ourselves some leadstone conduits and energy. Cube. Hi, Toby. Hi, Toby. So now. Come this way. Let's grab more of this. And I've also now added. Uh, this is our cinema. Get ourselves an accumulator. You can Acu see yes. we're playing Star Wars right now. Accumulator. You owe me $5. Is it fun? What? Is it my team speak or always team speak? It might be mine. Because I have to. I'm not on auto voice. I have to hold it down. User in your channel timed out. So come in here, Toby. Or are you just admiring the popcorn and the beer? Oh, wow. Slow time. Then... I see it's already seems to take a slow time now. Uh oh. Okay, Toby, watch the screen. We want me to do it already? Right? Yeah, if you want to turn the lights off and then the screen rises. Let's make some Ooh. machines. And then it starts. User entered your channel. Hello. That's very Hi. cool. Was that just Welcome me back, then? Is it just me? Or was it other people that dropped All right, it? now we need to make some machine frames. I think we're going to need three. What do you think, Toby? I'm so impressed. Are you? I really am. I, I, really am. I forgot to eat my popcorn. I forgot to get any popcorn. That's okay. It doesn't actually work yet. Wow. It's my real getaway. This is genuinely recipe. the whole Star Wars in there. Uh... It is. We need gold. That's incredible. Isn't it cool? That's so incredible. Then. I like it. Alright. Wow. Mm. I'm going to reset it for Slowpoke. And I think I'm going to start recording too. Okay. okay. 
Uh, where do I need to go to? Workshop. Are you in the digger? I know you get off the seat. No, I'm, I'm in uh, my little bee world. Yeah, head to digger. And uh, I'll meet you here. And I'm going to start recording. Uh -huh. Okay. There we go. We got some machine frames. Now we're going to need bricks. Uh, we're going to need a piston and flint. And where's the aqueous accumulator? Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 36 of Direwolf20's server play series. Six. It's a busy night on Forgecraft. Who do we have in chat? Oh man, we've got Slowpoke and Pahamar and Aurelian and Prague and Tema. And uh, Toby, you're, you're pretty new to the server, aren't you? I am. Relatively new, yeah. yeah. Well, welcome aboard. Thank you, thank you. Man, it's crazy on here. Rorax is in game with us, but she's not hanging out because I guess she doesn't like us that much. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So when Slowpoke gets here, there he is. So Slowpoke, this is the movie theater that Aurelian built, and I helped to automate a little bit. Now I think. Star Wars. Yeah, is it finalized, Ari? Yeah, it's pretty so much this is, finished. This is pretty much a finished build. Wait. Go ahead, take the floor inside. I, I have no money. This it says it wants it's okay. Me off me. Are you Just throw us a diamond or two. A three B. You yeah. know what we could do? We could set it up so that play people have to like donate a diamond in order to get inside, or or a gold bar. This is very okay. cool. Yeah, Thank this you. is all Ari. <laughs> this is the popcorn machine. <laughs> <laughs> and the and that's a machine. Beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. a brewer. And some candy yep, bars. Yep. Awesome. Mm hmm. Wow. <laughs> oh, we have a little. Um... He's our usher. Yeah, a little Enderman Usher. How are you? Would you like me to see you to your seat, sir? <laughs> oh. oh, hello. That's the most polite Hi. Enderman I've ever seen. Isn't he cute? <laughs> now we're okay. on screen. The movie's about to start. No Please look up on mobile phones. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Do you like it? Did you see the black curtains went up? That's awesome. <laughs> Be Is quiet up there. Cool? Yes, no talking. Very, the movie's very. playing. <laughs> uh, where Dyer good. was back there is the projection room where all of the the panels and stuff are. And you can get back there from the side. There's a um, there's the blackout curtain that you walk through and then an elevator takes you up. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Now what follows is uh, Direwolf's longest video as he will sit down and watches Star Wars on YouTube. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't mind. <laughs> Have you ever watched that Star Wars ASCII thing? It's really good. Oh, no, I know yeah, it we is. Watched, we've watched a lot of it so far. I've watched the beginning sequence about 500 times, but I've never seen the end. Because <laughs> there's no fast forward. We should just let it go one day and then come back and just see what it's like like an hour later. Yeah. Like, it's definitely sped up, so I think it's probably only like 20 or 30 minutes worth of, yeah, I would yeah, guess. It's a, I think it's like, a, yeah, that sounds about right, but it's really good to watch. Oh, I'm sure, yeah, no. Like, I know it's like a little yeah. project somebody did, like, years ago on, like, a Telnet thing. Somebody, yeah, yeah. or a bunch of people did, I think, is what it was. And then Dan mm -hmm. just kind of, like, grabbed it and included it as an Easter egg in his mod. Yeah. You can yeah. see the little computer set up here. Yes, we had a good time. Nice. It's good, man. You I'm like, telling you. You like, you like it? Ari did most of it. Yeah, Thank Ari you. did it all. Please. No, I didn't. Dyer did a lot. <laughs> no. He asked if it was built legit. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't do any of it in creative. Uh, huh? Soren, Soren made 32,000 bricks. So I just used that. And then for all the colors, we we used the paint thing. So it made the walls completely black. And then we painted the floors red and the ceiling dark gray. And it looks and really then, good. Like, the, like yeah, yeah. the darkness, like how dark it is with the black paint is really cool. Yeah, it, it looks really good, too, when you when you turn the illuminators on and it lights yeah. back up. You can see a lot more of the detail, like in the ceiling and stuff. Yeah. Those so, okay. block curtains are really good, aren't they? Aren't they yeah. Cool? yeah. I think it turned out really well. It did. 
Yeah, we yeah. thought you'd like it, Slowpoke. Oh, the things you can do with mods. I know. It's so awesome. I have so much fun with mods. Every day. Have you seen today's spotlight? Who, mine? No, the... Uh, I was going to say, yeah, I made it. The, 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 the Mojang spotlight. No, no, no. Jumping trains. Jumping trains? Jumping Jump trains. But evidently they also made them not stack. Which What's a jumping is train? Not happy about. I, I, I can only surmise that the... You know, like, if you drive a train to the end of, a, like, a train track, it just drops down? Yeah. I can only guess that the velocity of the train will carry it forward, rather than just dropping straight down. Hey, it's Pahi Noob! Um, Hello. Hello, Mr. Hey. Hey. I'm getting used to thermal expansion. This is my little setup. Oh. You're getting there. I think I need a fluid Yay. duct. I think you need, um... Probably another uh, water source block, too. Yeah, I'm just on my way to go get one. If I can get through these doors. Ah. Where are you? I'm in he the has a book in the workshop. Shed. I had to make it bigger this episode because it was too small before. And oh, look at this. You have a neat little to-do list. I do. I, at the beginning of this episode, introduced my viewers to the idea of the clipboard, and I, you, you always need a desk. When you're doing things. <laughs> Banana for scale and inspiration. Brilliant. <laughs> yes, uh, Slowpoke, I don't know if you know, but uh, my viewers at the, uh, the, uh, what is the proper word I'm looking for? The idea that was planted by Toby. Let's go with that one. The egging uh, on. I need to live in a giant golden banana. And does it have to be made out of gold blocks? Yes, because uh, I think with the Quinlan Exchange 3, I should be able to get gold blocks pretty easily. I see. Because, like, there's things you could do to make blocks look like gold blocks. Covers. Yeah. Well, let's just look at this, for example. But it's not that hard to get gold blocks. I mean... You'd go on harder and say that you've got to make it all out of uh, Qcraft blocks. So that it looks gold when you look at it one way, and when you look at it another way, it looks... Silver, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think we have Qcraft on here though, do we? Yeah, we don't. We don't. So, just for example, Dyer. Yeah. Two stacks of wooden logs gives you a gold ingot. Really? Yep. So, with the tree farm, the tree farm you could I farm could. gold. For example. For I example. see. But it's still only just crafting recipes with the minium stone, right? Like, there's no... Currently, yes. Cur I see. So, like, if I were you, I would be like, wow, that sounds like a lot of crafting that I don't want to have to do. I'm going to implement some machines that can maybe make that a little bit less painful. That's what I would do. Why would I do that? Oh, I love oh, it. I, I love got it. the cactus I... steam texture. Did you? Yeah, I'm staring at cactus. Staring at cactus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, it's cactus now. That's cool. It's still derped. <laughs> it's still derped. <laughs> That's funny. Yay, I'm generating Yay, RF power. Cool. Back to the workshop. Um, so I think today, um, so we, we finalized, Aurelian, we finalized the, the movie theater, right? Like, this is pretty much yeah, complete now? Yes. But you had a request for Macari's. Yeah, yeah. I do. I have one final request for Megari's, and I feel like to make this a true fast food style restaurant, it needs yeah. to have a drive through. Ah, uh, I see. So I've built kind of a preliminary track around here, and I thought instead of using boats, which can be kind of a pain to use, that maybe we could just do like a, a train nice. or a cart all the way around and oh, maybe stop at the screen. And then we can yeah. put like you know like a little welcome sign or whatever uh, on there. Yeah, that's totally doable. Awesome. Well, I've got an idea. Do more about that stuff. Okay. Let's make it so that like you walk up to the train and like get into it, and then zoom off, and you'll you'll zoom around like a little drive through, and there'll be like a sign here that you can read as you drive by, and then when you get to the drive through, you can take your food, whatever you want, right? So we've already yep, put the yep, Emmy yep. terminal here for that. Yep. And yep. then 
what, like push a button and continue along the rest of the way? I think so, yeah. I think that's a good plan. Okay. I like that plan. And then so when you get to the end, it'll like kick you out and you get ejected automatically maybe. Okay, so then do you want me to have the bridge? I just kind of built it off of the bridge up to the restaurant, but would you prefer me to have it like jet straight from the grass? Yeah, like have we'll have it like the 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 train. Like I've got a few tracks here, but I have to craft a few oh. more. But like it'll still go along here. And are these half slabs? Like I don't think I can put um I can't put train tracks on a half slab. I don't think. Um, uh, unfortunately. Okay. Um. But yeah, like we'll we'll run the track like around along there. Can I put it on double slabs? Yeah, I can't put it on double slabs either. What? Yeah, you have to put down actual like normal blocks. Okay, guys, so now we have some basic thermal expansion machines. Um, I think in the next episode, we will pick up and start adding some more of the machines, like the sawmill and whatnot. This actually wasn't too bad. It's not too terribly hard to figure out. So we have an aqueous accumulator here, uh, generating water from the two source blocks, well, three source blocks now that are in here. Uh, I'll need to make a fluid duct between the two of them, I understand. Ooh. We've run out of water uh, so that that doesn't happen, so that we have a constant supply of water into the steam dynamo. Steam dynamo. The steam dynamo is producing steam and turning it into RF power. I believe that stands for redstone flux. Let's fill that up some more, which sends power down to our leadstone energy cell which provides power to our pulverizer and our redstone furnace. And our redstone uh, furnace is receiving input from the pulverizer, and we're getting gold ingots. So we actually have our own basic uh, ore processing. So in the next episode, uh, we will get the other uh, machine set up. We'll probably get some more um, power coming into our uh, energy cell here and then uh, we might by the end of that episode might get a chance to start looking at making a smeltery from Tinker's Construct so that we can start getting some better tools than just um, you know enchanted uh, basic uh, pickaxes and whatnot so this is Pahamar signing off for episode 2 of Pahi Plays Forgecraft 1 uh, thank you all for watching much love